Hi guys, welcome, welcome back again to my channel. This is Ruri here again as always. It's first time you're tuning in. Please do stay subscribed and do like this video because we have a good time here on this channel. Okay, so guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick November reset. Me just reflecting on things I want to achieve next month and also just reflect on how October was. <laughs> So without so much further ado, let's just go straight right into it. And also, towards the end of this video, I'm going to tell about my favorite scenes and the movie I'm currently enjoying on Netflix. So let's just go straight right into it. So guys, just reflecting how October was for me. It was just really good. I spent so much time with my family. My mom was over. And yeah, I was literally, I didn't do much, but like on YouTube, I. I try to remain consistent posting one video every week regarding my professional life. I was always showing up and showing out every day. Of course, I had challenging days, but I always, always do push through. So let me just go quickly to what the goals I set for myself for November. So guys, in regarding my professional goal, there's this certification exam that I've always wanted to take, guys. I am not reading at all. I attended the compulsory class, which lasted for three days, and this certification exam is in PM. I just need to make our time next month to read, and how I'm going to really do that is I'm going to make sure after every walk, like once I'm done with work and I probably go to the gym, come back, eat, shower, I'm gonna set up some time, be it 30 minutes to one hour, to just read something and eventually take this exam. But I'm not setting when exactly I wanna take this exam, honestly, but I just want to read and at least feel prepared before I think about like scheduling to, to write this exam. So the second goal I set myself professionally is to just continually be in proactive at work and seeing how, how I can be of help, you know, just always showing out and showing up for every opportunity that comes my way and also regarding the tags that I'm being given or any project I'm currently working on at my job is to just always give it my best and learn from my mistake and just keep going through it. So that is the second goal I set in terms of my professional goals. So one important thing I set for my finance goal is honestly just to save more. So guys, moving on is self-care, self-routine goals. I am really heavy on taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health, taking care of your mind, your spirit, soul, and your body. And one and how I'm gonna actively do that, as I always do, is to just always take out time for myself when i'm my self-care evening routine when i just soak in the shower or uh, use my favorite body scrub oh my goodness guys i really got some really really nice body scrub which i will show towards the end of this video so that is just me proactively setting um taking care of myself that's why i mission my body i put in some money there to buy like these products i'm going to use and also when it comes to self-care one thing that i started doing is to read a little bit in the morning when i i wake up to me that just stimulates the mind and when i mean read there's this book i'm reading just something and i don't read for long hours because you know i need to get off to work but i just take those few moments in the morning to just read like few lines of my book i just find that's really really refreshing if you do something like that let me know down in the comment section how has it been for you to me honestly I find this super super refreshing and that is part of self-care is not waking up first in the morning you opening up Instagram and watching those videos seeing those pictures no you just need to take out time to just do something different do something that would make you feel more I don't know the words to use for you that would just make you feel more enriched okay so that's that's for myself in terms of my spiritual goals guys there's a new church I'm attending now and I am. Um, I love it. I just love the church. I love the word. Most importantly, I am learning a lot. But it's not just about learning; it's about applying what is being learned, put it, putting it into practice. And that's something I want to start doing: is to just keep on building my relationship with God and 
practice what is being taught in church because the pastor baby <laughs> that pastor preaches the word so yeah guys one last thing in terms of my youtube goals i, I do a lot of self-development videos now i just love it and i find it fulfilling i mean i still do my living alone vlog series and i still do my fashion videos too but i just want to focus a little bit more on my self-development videos and try and post at least one video every week but i'm trying to push for two videos every week but i'm also going to be reading two self-development articles for every topic i want to do just read refresh my mind and just learn because you know when you read books like this when you read self-development books you tend to learn a lot so that is something I'm going to do and I feel I'm really really slow when it comes to reading books so but when it comes to like blog post articles I find that more interesting and engaging so that's something I'm proactively going to do next month so guys let's quickly move on to my favorite fragrance I'm loving at the moment and the body scrub I got a bunch of body scrub which I'm gonna show you all later in my vlogs but i'm just going to show you one that i really really love guys my favorite fragrance i'm loving at the moment is amani c intense by georgia amani guys i love this perfume so much and i got the very first time i used this perfume was back in my grad school and i was using the amani c not the intense version and i just love this i said to just try this intense and it smells similar but this this is more concentrated i mean it's the intense that's what we expect so this is more concentrated and i love it so much and the notes of this this includes black currant nectar it has a bit of rose and i can smell some patchouli and i can smell a little bit of vanilla but i don't know i don't think vanilla is among the notes but i sometimes smell it's giving me a little bit of base van vanilla notes but i just love this fragrance so so much and when i'm wearing this i'm the type of person when i wear my perfumes i layer a lot so i see myself putting this on and layering it with my other fragrance moving on my favorite body scrub at the moment guys i came across this yesterday when i was at tj max that is where i buy anything shower related tj max is a spot for me so i went there to pick up some and i saw this fresh raspberry body scrub guys i have never seen a body scrub that has raspberry in it and what really drew my attention to this body scrub is so i just love the fresh raspberry that is being used in this body scrub and most importantly it's also exfoliates and i know my skin my skin is gonna be giving <laughs> after i use this and when i opened it up let me show you guys and it's it has a bit of smell Oh, it has a bit of smell to it which i really don't like but <laughs> yeah but this is what it looks like guys it's a bit liquidy so i need to be careful when i'm using it and whenever i buy my body scrub i pay attention i honestly pay attention to the ingredients and when i saw raspberry <laughs> i knew i was gonna get it so guys lastly the movie i'm currently enjoying on netflix i don't think i'm pronouncing this right but it goes by can go i'm going to just leave the name up here below it's an indian movie and i watch a lot of indian movies i just i just love indian movies and i love this particular one i'm watching it's it has a bit of suspense to it and i just love the storyline i don't like see any spoilers so if you're interested in checking it out you could go check it out on netflix is the 2022 movie it's just recently came out it's a new movie so guys thank you so so much for sticking around to the very end of this video please do subscribe if you haven't yet at this point please hit the subscribe button and join this farm so guys i'll see you all in my next reset video stay happy stay blessed and stay cheerful guys and i'll see you all real soon Mwah.